Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, including Royce sharing his thoughts on what is described as Lupe and Mickey going on this frenzy and ganging up to jump him. And he broke it down recently on a live stream with Three Letter Man, where Mickey also joined the conversation later. And it seems like the trolls are getting to Royce. Royce going outside. Yo, don't read them comments, bro. Don't read them comments. Don't read the comments, trust me. More on this in a bit. We also have some drama, as a writer slash producer who worked on 50 Cent for Life recently shared a tweet that included Eminem's name with the facts misconstrued and he's been slammed accordingly by fans on Twitter. And at the end of the video, when it comes to the rumored Eminem upcoming album, we have something that some believe could be connected to Eminem, stick around for that one at the end. Before we get started, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and find me on social media at ET lifestyle underscore web so it starts from the baby and he's been at the center of drama recently first for some comments he made at the rolling loud festival we're not about to get into that in this video but he's defended himself stating that people digested his comments wrong but the drama we are focused on today is his relationship with megan the stallion that's turned sour after he worked with tory lanes recently check this out the baby brings out tory lanes right after megan the stallion set at rolling loud festival and variety described this move as clearly provocative to this day, it remains unclear what actually happened between Tori and Megan. We've been awaiting arrest or something, but she spoke against the baby associating with Tori after their incident, hence why this move to bring Tori on stage is viewed as clearly provocative after her performance, according to many on the internet. And this is where a writer slash producer chose to drag Eminem into the drama. He tweeted, I hope Megan does the baby like Mariah did Eminem. And this hasn't gone too well for him. A user asked, what she did, she hasn't had a successful album since that, laughing emojis. And this is not an opinion, this is a fact. Even her last album got overshadowed by her Christmas song, the song that's kept her afloat ever since the warning dropped, and more questions were asked. And what exactly did Mariah do to Eminem? He's yet to respond to any real question, but chose to respond to this. The Eminem stands are about to swarm your mentions, shake my head. He responds, they already bothering me. So you see how this works? Make a baseless statement, then play the victim when people ask you to back up your statement to make the fans look crazy. And to that, a user responds, you should have checked the facts first delusional. Hope your curse won't come true and Meg won't be played only during Christmas time. This is one that even Megan won't wish upon herself despite the original intentions of the writer, and the user broke it down. I don't think Megan wants to be a Christmas star who's only relevant in one season. If you all remember, the only thing that got the internet to talk about Mariah before Christmas this year was her cosplaying Eminem on TikTok. And this tweet coming from a writer is even more disappointing because research is a must in the field even when writing fiction, but here we are. But perhaps this is what he wants for Megan. So drop a song, get dissed and then leave and only get streamed around Christmas? Weird flex, but okay. Moving on, we have more on Eminem album rumors, but we'll save that for later as we dive into Royce's drama. And in a recent livestream, Royce spoke about how he feels about the drama. The negative energy that's bringing out the dark side is left behind. I still love Lou. I don't understand the energy. And that comes with him walking away from the relationship and walking away from the podcast. So I know that the energy is real. And then here come Mickey. He feel like I was bullying him in the last in the last podcast when I was being sarcastic with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then he went to the studio and gave me an energy that was really, really reminiscent to lose, but probably worse. What the, what you mean? I'm tripping, bro. Are you tripping, man? What, All this boy is for you to rap. That's it. My All this breaking necks and all that. I don't want that. Nobody wants that. We want to see you kill MCs. That's it. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I didn't say I wasn't going to rap. I didn't say I wasn't going to rap. Why you Why you acting like you don't understand what I'm saying, bro? I don't have a no, problem I, with a, yo, I, don't, first, I, don't have a, I don't have a problem with nobody killing me as an MC. I don't have no problem with that. Okay. Okay. That's that's you know, you know how it feels. You that's, know how it feels. But that's all but that's all we wanted to hear, Royce. That's it. That's yeah, all we man, wanted to hear. We don't we don't want you to break nobody neck. We don't, don't, know. We don't want the neck breaking. No neck breaking, bro. Man, 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 man. 
I initiated all of these conversations. Right. So if I'm if I'm if I'm in a place where I'm feeling like I'm disrespected, why are y'all invalidating my feelings, man? Like with you, it's like you're telling me how to feel. Look, bro, y'all legendary. Y'all legendary. History is unfolding right now. How you want the story to be told depends on what you say in that booth. I ain't got no booth, bro. Royce, man, cut it out, man. Cut it out, man. We just want we want the raps. We want the raps. And that, bro, I didn't take. I didn't say nobody was getting raps. He asked me a question, bro. I'm just asking a question. I, I, who, yo, go got rapper friend too. Old up. Old up. Royce going outside. Yo, don't read them comments, bro. Don't read them comments. If anybody count you out right now, just use it as fuel, man. It's time to cook. It's time to cook. I That's ain't it. Worried about nobody counting me out. I'm, I'm, worried about, I'm I, I don't like talking about me like they out of their goddamn mind. I ain't worried about nobody counting me out. It's the internet. That's what it's for. No, no, that. You know, you know, ain't nobody gonna walk up to you with that same energy. So, yeah, it's the internet. That's what it's for. That's what I'm talking about. We want the raps, Royce. Huh? We want the raps. We want the raps. We want the raps, man. We want to know who you about to tag in. We want the raps. Y'all know, y'all don't, y'all not deserving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> y'all not deserving, man. Y'all being y'all y'all are being y'all are being mean. To me. y are, y are, y are yo, not deserving. And nobody ever said yo, thank you, Royce, for all of this energy. I told you that. Mm. I've been saying Royce that. I said I told oh, you. Oh, you 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 think they not? I you think Royce, they not? Him doing this has brought Lupe Fiasco. But hold on, man. It's brought Lupe out. It's made it's made Mickey go in the booth and get it get it popping. There was so much that was said, hours of talking, but Mickey joined in and they had a couple of things cleared up. Royce believed Mickey went too far with the disrespect on the diss record, since they are not on opposing teams, so the energy is off. I don't know how that constitutes the disrespect. Maybe we just got a different way of viewing what disrespect is. There's people in the comments like, oh, disrespectful diss record? What the f No, I'm not saying make a respectful diss record. I'm saying don't disrespect me in the diss record. It's not. It's, it, it's not consistent with the conversations we've been having. It's off-putting for me. That's what I'm saying. But in Mickey's defense, it's not with what Lupe insinuated about jumping Royce when he least expected it. This is how it was for him. Lupe just did a live and said, y'all plan to get jump me. Y'all <laughs> plan to jump me when I least expect it. It wasn't, it wasn't no jumping on my behalf. I got off that live and, and this, is what, this is what it's about. The very next day, that's what it was on. That's that's what I was on, bro. Cause I felt like y'all wasn't respecting my pen and what I do. <laughs> you felt like we weren't respecting your pen? Yeah, 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 that's, that's how I felt. But fans remained split in reaction to Royce's comments with the majority going against Royce with comments like, in my opinion, it looks like Royce is kinda shocked man even responded to his track like he probably felt his track was gonna scare them away and it backfired like he's beating around the bush too much instead of just responding. And some have gone as far as say that Royce is playing the victim, whining and believe even Eminem will be face palming at Royce right now but a user breaks it down in Royce's defense adding, it was all good till two other people that were never mentioned invited themselves in and started with all the bad energy. The fact is, the original post that started this was directed at RJ Payne and Ransom, I believe, so this is also true, but a lot has happened after, even some comments from Royce have contributed to the mess right now. Moving on to the next topic at hand, director that worked with Eminem on Hire recently shared a story on IG and since Eminem is believed to also be in LA right now, questions are being asked. Instagram James Lurie's director, LA, is it something involving Eminem? Well, recently it's been Cole Bennett or James Lurie's and based on the drama recently, a user responds, you guys are starving, ain't you? And that's a fact we are. And following this, a user believes I'm gonna drop before Kanye. James Lurie's is certainly shooting a video right now, as you can see, but it won't be long as the rumored release is set for August and it's just around the corner. That will be all for today, share your thoughts below and see you on the next one.